How are we living, boys? And look, if you're going to beat him, you got to join him. But at first, you got to understand him just a little bit right there. We're playing Ambassa really quick. To give you a rundown, you've probably already seen it, but basically after every spell or attack, you got to do a little dash thing. Q is just, uh, you know, it's like old Rengar Q if you were there for the Rengar rework. We're playing a jungle. Who knows if the can is meant to go to top lane? But uh, you know what I'd do. i got to understand it as a jungler. That way, if it's ever against me, yeah, we, uh, yeah we're not playing with that. All right, you may leave. Thank you. Appreciate that. So it's exactly that where you click Q and then whichever direction that you right click in or whatever follows it, you will go in that direction. So it's kind of interesting. People were talking about it in my Discord. They were like, yo, so is, uh, is Briar dead after this? And uh, I mean, one, no, right? Like we prey upon these, you know, weak bruisers or even just like random bruisers like this, man. As long as they're not building too much armor at the start. Which she isn't in, in every bit of gameplay that I've seen. She's actually building like Super Bruiser, like Eclipse, Sunder Sky, stuff like that. So that's exactly what we want to be against. But I have to understand these interactions because let me tell you, I'm not getting caught lacking on patch day. People said that she is mostly top lane, which I definitely get. But uh, try and jungle, you know what I do. I did it with Aurora, the same thing where like once Aurora came out, we were playing her jungle day one. And to be fair, her jungle was not that bad. But, uh... Fortunately, this one looks a lot more playable than that. Ah, she kind of moves. I'm thinking definitely round 330, though. She probably looks like a champ that if she were to jungle, she looks like a, uh... Like a not full clear. You probably invade her level three if possible, right? I'm kind of already cooking the clear. Yeah, let's go two swipe like we do with Briar. I'm sure there's like ways to optimize this clear, but come on now, it's day one, man. Give me a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna go for that. 325? That's like a round Briar's clear. That's a bad Briar clear. So that's not too bad. Now, what you need to understand if you're gonna play this game is that if you're doing range stuff, then you want to do Q, and if you're doing engage, you need to do E. But you need to be careful and not do exactly what I just did, where sometimes you're, you've gotten used to uh, moving your character or right-clicking so much. Let's check this out. Just use a W. That uh, you're going to send yourself in the wrong direction sometimes. So like right here, it's definitely like E, E, Q, Auto, Q2, and W. That's your standard combo, right? E, slide, E, and then slide again, you get the Q, Auto Q W, but if you're going to like you know catch them lacking, you need to uh, you need to save your W for sure. Now this is Cassante, right? So like the you know these two are kind of together in some type of way where they're newer champs that get 40 dashes, do whatever they want, 200 years, 500 years, whatever you want to call it, however many years you're going with. Uh, okay. We got him back. We have, like, no execute here, though. We're fine. He can't kill us there. Man, there, like, seems like there's a kill there, but I don't know. I know we're definitely taking this recall. Now, with how bad your first clear is, you usually take the recall ASAP. So we're at 1,300. We did a little damage test on Cassante. She doesn't have, like, an execute mechanic, which is something that I'm maybe more used to, but, uh, yeah. EE -E looks good. Like, Renekton. People are trying to like generalize who this champ is, and I actually think it's just like way too hard to say like, oh, she's just this. It's like, no. They're like, she's Silas Samira Sante with a little bit of Callista, and it's like, baby, I don't even know anymore. But I do like that she like kind of self kites. You know me and my champions that play themselves. Q backwards, nice. Q forwards, nice. And the main thing to do is whenever you deal damage that you get your energy back. So 200 energy, right? Like you can, you have enough to just do your full combo, whatever. But uh, she needs to be hitting people with it, which really isn't that big a deal. I'm not gonna lie, you're you're a bruiser. If you can't if you can't get on the same screen as other people, I don't know what to tell you. Get my boy is out of there. She's on 48 farm. Where did she get that much farm from? 
48 farm. Is that like caught a midway or something? Probably. Yeah, never use Q like that, by the way. I always forget a little bit that if you miss Q1, then you're not going to get Q2. So sometimes I'm like trying to move with it. But yeah, no. Jungle this. Yeah, Briar's tearing this a new one. My god, we're in there. Dodge that a little bit. Wait for our E just for a second. Just barrier up, I can flash on it. Ooh, clean little dive? Am I the day one player? Wait, what's going on here? I need 300 Gs. Yo, we, all right, this is the one time I'm gonna give you a little damage test on Dragon, let's see. Okay, why does this champ actually crank damage to Dragon? Look at those spells. Yeah, Briar could never, by the way. But it's okay. I mean, this champ is newer than Briar, so of course, you know, well, she just gets to do everything. It's chill. My champ can't choose who she targets, by the way. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I need to start timing my Ws when I'm taking non minion damage. Nice. All right, we have ult. If you don't know what ult does, public execution. With a name like that, you can probably assume what it does. Where we are going to be point and clicking someone and sending them straight through. I'm gonna grab uh, this here ruby crystal. If you don't have enough for your eclipse, always grab a ruby crystal because odds are you're going to use it for your next item. Again, this champ builds like uh, like eclipse black cleaver briar does, so these are not recalls that I'm not fine tuned in, especially when you're full clearing. Right, full clearing is about 700 gold. Oh, do we take the gang? I think you have to take the. Oh, he used W. Yes, sir. No R and he used W. He might pivot for a Q. I'll trade my E for it. Oh my god, how little... Okay, to be fair, my bad. How little damage does Aurora do? Did he flash? Oh yeah, he flashed. Well, I'll take it. Might have to stay for that wave in which Aurora could kill. Those gank should always work. I probably misplayed somewhere in it. To be honest, he's kind of just doing Cassante things there. He's like, man, OG Cassante is standing up to new champs. What's going on with that? Maybe that champ's broken? Who knows? Who knows? Yeah, Q2 is like the thing that holds the champ together, though. I'm going to be honest. That is just OP. You really need to get your combos down. Because, again, it only stacks up at three times like Silas, right? She double camps pretty well, though. Her base attack speed, though. Oh, man. Sorry, man. This is my first game with her. I'm just kind of feeling it out, seeing what it's like. But yeah, base attack speed's a ton. Now, these are the runes I took. I took ability haste because it's all this champ does. But, uh, maybe she's one of those champs that needs a little bit of help in the attack speed department. Nice. We're on Eclipse already. Yeah, she plays kind of like, if you've ever played Callista, you've probably noticed that, like, she feels so awkward sometimes because of the way that you have to do your hops. But, uh, it definitely improved on it through this champion. This champ feels very fluid. Now, one thing that I'm scared of is a more complex mechanic, so if you guys know much about, uh, you know, like, when you're going to get CC'd, you know, buffering a spell into that CC, that way you get your spell off. So she's like the embodiment of that, right? Because you're always hopping with every spell. So that I could foresee being a problem. Let's do that. Let's just slide up out the bed here. It's a kill. I don't think it is. So you got to be clean with stuff like that. Does she have small balls? Okay, she can't. Oh my god, if that's one tap, I'll be there. Alright, I would certified die if I went in live. We don't have we don't have any boys. 
Dude, I wish I knew the exact one-shot combo. I'd be there. Nice. Don't even use the Q2. Just go with the buffer. If it will R's, I'll R, and we'll confirm it. Oh, they don't even know about this. Look at this. Lel. They tried to trade some damage. I could do a little W-ing. Boss. Oh, they're Aurora Rand. You're too scared, kid. Come on, now. All right, this gem's actually kind of sweet. <laughs> that R range is insane, though. Actually, that is not balanced at all. That R range, dude, I just sniped that kid from a mile away. And they were trying to bait it, too. Nice. Dude, we're kind of briaring right now. Yeah, no, this gem's kind of sweet. Now, enemy top laner's up a million farm because it's PBE. Sometimes PBE gameplay can be a little messed up because people aren't used to the ping, man. Ping, ping on PBE is a different. It's a different server. It's a different everything. So, uh, Logan is the goat of Briar. I've never seen anything like that before. Appreciate you, very, my G. Very, very generous. I'm down. Shouldn't have. Uh, he has ult, he doesn't have a flash though, right? I mean, it looks like this guy just like refuses to play. Fine, there's no R angle for him here. Until I walk into it. I think we win this though, right? Not bad. Shoot, I'll take that. Yeah, man, Tabby's just went crazy, man. Not gonna lie, one time in Kasante, kinda, because I don't think my Aurora was able to hit too much there. There's no way Aurora dies. Come on, man. What's this guy building? Is that a Hydra Rush? Okay, wait, actually, team mat items are probably a cook, right? With all the spells? Bro, you are cooked. You are cooked. I think I might be able to just walk bot. What would I do if that was Briar? If that was Briar right now, I'd full clear bot, and I would get Dragon. That's what I'd do. I need to not think like I'm playing a different champ. Dude, jungle concepts, just they transcend champ pick. You do have to get a little used to uh, the order in which... Oh, I don't think we can do this. Grubs, man. It's 10 seconds left. Do this grab, though. People were also talking about Triforce being a thing on her. Maybe? Probably not first, though. Um, PBE, may I hit this blue? Thank you. This respawn blue buff level 9 has level 1 blue buff stats, by the way. Thank you, Riot. There's no way they're on this. Oh, yeah, now we're... Look, act like you don't even have a team. Look. Oh god, run. Just kidding. Lel. He's gonna try and ultimate through the wall, so don't be on that side. Come on now, little guy. Come on, man. You gotta lock in. Yeah, this champ... I'll say it. Cassante is still more broken. But, uh... I don't know. There's an interesting thing to talk about these, like, more complex champs off the jump. Like, Briar, for example, was broken in, con like, in comparison to current day Briar. But also, with champs that have, like, learning curves, it's not the same, man. Briar players had the, like, the most broken version of her. But literally, it was impossible to win because of how many people are flying under turret because it's a cannon event. Oh, do I just take a random 1v1 even though Cassante has Briar? Okay, he didn't want the smoke. That's okay. I can go get my Black Cleaver. I go Black Cleaver. I go Black Cleaver. I get... Let's see. One second. Black Cleaver and then maybe like Spear of Shoujin? Maybe DD? Now, I'm saying she's not hard because I picked her up really fast. Would this champ be a little weird for, you know, someone that doesn't play this game with no life? Maybe. What do you guys think? You think this champ is hard or what? I can wait for my fit and we can look afterwards. It's a lot of pivoting now. Like, 
You to the right, move to the left. Yeah, once this champ, alright, so this champ sucks at getting on top of you, but once she's on top of me, I'm living the dream, if you know what I'm saying. So, like, right there, I had to flash to get close, because E is just sometimes not enough. So, she's at least bouncing in, like, that slight regard, that, um, you know, like, right now, I can't just decide I'm on top of Triss, right? Like, that's all you can do. But what you can do is, once you're on top of someone, you never, ever stop hitting them. Nice. Now, this is the difference between Briar and this champ. This champ does auto-attack, but its main thing is the cooldowns, right? Briar needs to auto-attack. So that's why Shoujin isn't that good on Briar, but would be on this champ. Because this champ can just spell cast kill you perma, right? This ain't none. This game is actually like, kind of competitive. I'm kind of liking it. It's sure it's only 5 to 20, but they're not trolling. Actually, like trying to play their champs. That's a rarity. I I like to get this good of game quality for videos, right? Because unfortunately, you can't just like like. There's some people who are like, "Hey, man, you're not playing this in Masters Plus right now. Uh, are you a fraud?" And it's like, "Yeah, surely that's how it works, man. Surely, surely she's playable on ranked right now." Oh, we got the FF. Eh, that was cool. Nice, GG. Yeah, first look, just... I mean, the first gank was probably all that you needed to see. I'm going to be honest. Like, E into QQW. Not bad. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, you definitely see it, though. My God. This champ. If she's not sitting on top of me, it is. there's no kill. Nice. That was good. Can't hate that. Let's check the damn... And this is jungle, by the way, so I don't get a lane phase like everyone else, right? Like, some people are going to uh, get a lane phase, do whatever. Dude, I have eight kills. Man, you gotta make your damage count. Damage taken's good. Nice. GG. Thank you for watching. Okay, how are we living? Now we're doing a second game. Just show you what it's like to be with and against the champion. Now, for once, that uh, she's not jungle, so that works. We are trying to play with and against her now, so we're gonna see what it's like. Now, Briar, again, on this patch, she didn't get any changes. She's still standard, so we get to see... One, if we can set this champ up. Two, if you can do public execution into Briar's R. Or Briar's E and R, rather. And then, uh, yeah, the main thing to do for the new champ is just, man, you gotta not get caught in the in the gameplay loop. This is the Cassante thing where, like, oh, Cassante, oh, he hit me with one Q, and now, oh, my God, I can't move ever again. So let's, uh, let's hope that's not us today. And the main thing to do is, right, like, people will simplify Briar as, like, a stat checker. So, um, let's use that to our advantage. And if we are, in fact, checking stats on people, um, let's go ahead and do that in a good way. Not not check their stats and see if they got more than us. Nice top wave. Ah! Uh, ah! I just got that out the corner of my eye. Gonna not, not look at that one too much. I think once mid gets level 3, we might be able to play. We're going to see how strong the champ can be level 3. Use a Q2 maybe? Oh my god, we're juicing. Her W2 damage. Yo, do you see him best as W2? Why does that champ do so much damage? I'm actually just over it. Luckily, I'm against the Yasuo, so I get to do whatever I want, right? Like, no, there is no bad gank against the Yasuo. They just always die. It's 308, so technically Diana could be on these Krugs here. Alright, so she's not, so she has to be topside. That's fine. Oh, uh, nice. Sorry. Look, man, sometimes it just comes out. That champ is broken. Alright. Now, I'm not going to lie. We're on PTA this time, but do I get a little crazy? Do I do a little build testing for you guys? You guys love when I do the crazy builds, so. Let's do, uh, let's do Triforce. You guys always want me to play Triforce. I don't get what is the obsession with this. 
Now, here's the thing. Briar, if you watch any of my AP videos or any of my Triforce videos, you understand that she can get three Sheen procs within one W, right? W1, wait two seconds Q, wait two seconds W2, bam. You got all three. But if you get your cooldowns low enough, you're able to start stacking really hard. So you can go, like, something like Navori. And or just a ton of ability haste to where you're, like, proccing a ton of Sheen procs in the meantime while your next W comes up. And the wait becomes super short because the cooldown gets to 10 seconds. You get, you know, a good amount of ability hits you can go five second w and then you're just perma maybe not five but you get, you get the point you wouldn't even want it to be five you'd want it to be six since you want another sheen proc on that w1 okay let's go feels a, like it's been a while since i've done like a uh like a less optimal video like more of like a just showing off how cool this champ can be but man briar is briar That's all you need to know We can break that. I mean, she's gonna run away. She's gonna Q2 us and then just keep moving. Oh my god, wait, my bot's 0 and 3? What is going on? I can take a little trade on Diana here just because I know she can't kill me. Again, we read the Diana stuff. Nice, good try. This seems vaguely playable, in my opinion. You just got cooked, by the way, and get in the wall. <laughs> I've been there before. Been there many times before. Oh my god, damn it. Stun. Save the lives of my friends. Nice, I'm like an anime character. Get that stuff in there. Huge. All right. When's Triforce? 500 Gs? Dude. There's no way we wait for 500 gold. All right. Take the recall. Take the recall. Trust. Take the recall and trust. Ah. I don't think this Diana gets it. <laughs> Diana doesn't get it. So here's the, here's the, how you want the matchup to work. Is you want to start your E when you're tagged by Diana's Q. But before she uses her first E, because you want her to E and then be stuck in the dash animation while you're charging up to slam her into the wall. So if you can get that timing down, you just destroy the matchup. Now, if she E's early, she catches on to you doing that, and then, uh, you know, she dodges your E, then you're in a rough spot, because she is never missing. Because then she has Q, she's E reset on you, and uh, she's going to walk you down into can't fight. All right, so we've done a little bit of fighting with him, Bess, and now let's see some fighting against her. And there you go. As you can see, the fight went pretty well. Hello, my friend. If I had R, I'd buffer R into this, but we don't have to. I mean, again, this is like the Bruiser v. Bruiser matchup where, like, I just walk at you. And it's like, you know. That's it. That's all there is to Oh, you can't fight me? Well, there you go. Hold that. She did get one grub, that kind of depresses me. Yasuo was coming to deny me? Dude, one thing that people don't talk about a lot is when you're playing your main, you like have this game plan and you know your best like option at all times. When you swap champs, it's like so like, I don't know how to say it. Like it's so different. It just feels so much weirder. Mank annual diff. I have that minion dies for free. Yeah. I mean, there's no way Diana does it. <laughs> we can't. We keep cooking, bro. Got your waving. Oh man. Oh, you're what they call in the wall. She doesn't have R, I think I could win this. Oh, got a flash. Plus ignite. Do I alter? The voices. No, I'm just kidding. The voices are kind of quiet right now. Don't be like this. What other items you got? You guys like Ginsu's. Every time I build Ginsu's, I swear I go up like a million views. So let's do it. 
You see it? You see it? All right, we are Triforce up again. So I'll show you Triforce combo, right? W, hit, wait two seconds, Q, hit, and the last second, W2. And it, the W2 already procs your sheen. So your W2s will always be way more than what you're used to. Trust me, you're talking to the resident once sheen to be good on Briar player. This wave's pushing to us, so this is a good gank. Effectively, Yasuo has to always fight here. Ooh, blood got kind of cooked there. Nice. I kind of forget that that champ just has a point and click. Hello, my friend. I know, I know. Ooh, kind of clean. That burst was crazy. Yeah, dude, people think people think this champ is literally balanced. It's disgusting. When my mid laner starts dragging for me when their wave is ruined. Now, nah, Ambessa's Q2 actually chunks, though. To be honest, if you're playing Ambessa lane, you just hit, hit all your spells and then just walk away. You've probably done most of what you're going to do anyway. Ooh, Teemo top gang. Alright, so we got Triforce. Now what are we gonna do? What do we do after Triforce? Do on hit? Okay, on hit's a little bit higher. There we go. Okay, what on hit are we rocking with? That's what ignited. Now he definitely has W, right? So like this can't hit, but imagine if it did. Silly guy. We need to dodge next Q, the boss. We wanted him to hit the tornado, take it, and get put into the wall, but unfortunately not. If we kill him, Bessa, would that be 300 gold? She's 0 and 4. It's like 200, right? 170? Nice. We got about her. What are we rocking with? 150? Alright, we're definitely fine. Save him! Maybe we go in Bessa cooking right now. Nice. Oh, I forgot she has bleed on her. Two turret shots is so hurtful. Now she is warding totem in Q, so she's going to check that bush. We're going to try and just hop about the bed real quick. See what they try and cook here. Our Lux can't make it, so we're kind of in a rough spot. I don't really have to do too much here. Get the smite, get the E, into the wall. That's at least a kill for our team. Uh, that's so far. Do it to him. Oh my god, we canceled. Got him. Got him. Nice. Sorry, too easy. All right, what else are we on? Ooh, Kraken. Dude, dare I say it, I'm always down to build Kraken. I think it's so actually broken on Briar, can't lie. Because you proc so many autos in your first little rotation that it can't hurt. And, and it's exemplified by the fact that you get Titanic, because Titanic's a cook. For anyone that thinks, oh my god, Logan, is this the new cooked build? This is not the new best build. This is a cool build. I've done this one for multiple videos, I'm not gonna lie, people seem to forget that like on hit was like my my fixation for a time there. Cause high attack speed briar just feels too good. Oh my god, we're getting jumped. Coming. Kinda. Let's see what we were doing. Bam, 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 bam. 
I'll be taking that one too. Thanks. A third one is crazy. Oh my god, they're kind of juicing. And Bessa getting kited. Yeah, that ain't Cassante. Cassante never gets guided there. Send a W towards the minions. One, two, three. No one else getting a hit. Come on now. Log me in, boy. Can't foresee a world that any team tries to play this. Dude, this song is so fast. You don't know it? Now you do. I swear to God. <laughs> I mean, this pixel bush has to be warded, right? Nice. Hop up in the whip. <laughs> Gotta right click those, Fu Yanyo. Dude, a most farm in the game? Dropping a nuke? Dude, the difference between someone filled on jungle, not that this person is, and it just makes me think of it. Someone being filled on jungle versus a jungle main? Not fair. It's like, if you autofill a support player to jungle, good luck. Good luck, you lose. They best have played jungle at some point, even in a Moomoo or something. Oh, you never. Zonia's there. Now you're dead. Just kidding. It was a close one. I'm gonna spam my spells because I think I might get away with it. Yes, sir. That blink was kind of crazy. Going TDM mode right now. They obviously know I'm coming, right? But like, what if? What if I don't care? No one's over there. Maybe there aren't crows? No, they full cleared. Oh, we got our item. Simply calculated. Now we need Titanic. I'm telling you, you want to see a, da a damage build that cranks, then you're literally looking at it right now. By the way, what's with this ad? Ads on YouTube is crazy. We need to, we need to do a little bit better there. Alright, nice. Alright, I'm on the three of them spike, but ain't nothing better than the four. Ah, there's a DD. There you go. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing some invested gameplay. At least being on the side of it and against it. All good, all the same stuff. So you get to see me play as her, against her, and with her. All in one video. Lock me in. The chimp's cool. Again, her main thing is if she gets kited, right? If someone, like, gets away from her ult in her Q and E. Uh, she's just a nothing champ, really. But, uh, yeah, any t any chance I can show off that build, I always have to. You know what I do. Cranking damage. Cranking damage taken free. Gee. If you don't want people to FF at 15, don't have two people play their OTP champs and sweat super hard. Yeah, man, I'm surely sweating. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm so, uh. Disease is crazy, GG.